And welcome back to What If. We're on to part three of the What If Goku had dead a car from the beginning. Dragon Ball Z What If. Last time, everyone had been doing training for the Saiyans arriving. Piccolo went on his own. His power, I believe, is around 7,500. Uh, uh, honestly, Chiaotzu is the only one who I kind of forgot where I had Chiaotzu at. I think I had him at like 4,000. Uh, I do know that I've had Yamcha at 34,000. T or, excuse me, yeah, 34,000, actually scaling a little above Tien, Tien around 30,000, Krillin at 52, and Goku at 260. They'd all been doing training, Goku had a moment with his father, and now they've just kind of, now they're just waiting out. Goku's spending the days, you know, relaxing with his family, Chi-Chi's worried, but he's like, don't worry, Chi-Chi, it'll be fine, and trust me. You just gotta trust me. This is just something I have. This is just something we have to do to protect, uh, protect the people we care about. It's like, oh, Goku, <laughs> and the yeah, whoa. Finally, they sense the power showing up, and they're keeping their power suppressed. Fortunately, with all the training, the only ones who are really at risk here are Chatsu and Piccolo. <laughs> uh, even Piccolo can handle N N Nappa at least. It might be a, it might be a close fight, but he could probably beat Nappa at this point, uh, assuming Nappa's full power is that seventy-five hundred kind of thing. Chats is the only one who's really at risk. So they, you know, they all meet up at the area that the Sands are showing up or showing up in, and it's a city, because we know they landed in a city. Like, ah, Kakarot, so there you are. Uh, I, I'm, I'm surprised Rise didn't join us. You know what he said, Vegeta. He was he didn't want to mess with his brother. And it's like, Ugh, he always was a coward. So Rides didn't meet up with Vegeta or Nappa. He's like, uh, look, I saw how strong he was. If I'm smart enough to know he's going to train and get stronger. I'm not going to F with him, okay? Uh, and But I'm also not stupid enough to confront you two because you might just kill me thinking I'm weak. So I'm like, I'm going to hang back. Rads is listening in on the scouters in on the ships, by, by the way. He's not just uh, paying no never mind. Let's even say there's a small camera on the ship that he's actually watching you. So he's like, let's see what you've done, Kak Let's see if you can manage Kakarot. Let's see if what you were saying is true, that... Uh, uh, true that you could beat them. Can you beat them? I wonder. And so, ah, uh, so, Kakarot, uh, you, you really were able to get stronger than Raditz, were you? That's impressive, but you're still no match for someone like me, or even Nappa. Why, why do you uh, bother? Why do you bother protecting this planet, Kakarot? We could do so much more. <clears throat> and goes like, I already have everything I need here. You're the ones who are in training. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you the same warning I gave Rads. Leave now, or I won't hesitate, or I'll do what I have to. <laughs> oh, really? And these, their scouts are like, oh, let's see what their power's at. Not for those rings are useless. They can hide the power levels. Fine, we're going to do this. Let's take this someplace else. It's like, oh, you don't want to risk your pathetic little humans getting killed, do you? It's like, no, I don't. Besides, it's a little too crowded for a fight anyway. Well, you're, if you had to be right on one thing, it would be that. Fine, lead the way. And so they fly out into the, de to the desert. They're all squared off. Uh, but we're not going to be the ones fighting you. Nah, but how many Cybermen do you have left? Uh, plants the Cybermen. And they all come, but they all take out the Cybermen, no problem. I see. Napa then. <clears throat> Napa then. Why don't you be the one to, uh, you want to have some fun, do you? Oh, I do indeed. And so they're all looking at like, okay, which one of us, which one of us gets the bald idiot? The bald idiot. Oh, you'll pay for that. Come on, I'll take you all on. Uh, no, that's all right. Uh, Piccolo, you can take him. Like, what? What? Why do I have to take him? I want the other. I want the. He's clearly the weaker of the two. I know. That's why you get him. You. All right, I'm not about this. And, and Piccolo's not as full power yet, because he can sense how strong Nappa is. He's about at 50%, which is uh, roughly 3,750. Uh, I don't know. If we're going by... I mean, he's keeping his power suppressed, but if we're going by what uh, his weighted training clothes do by keeping his weight... Um, or keeping his power suppressed to a certain degree... His power is probably closer, because his power also did what Goku's way of training close did, and cut off about a quarter of it, but it kind of, that kind of went out the window, it was kind of more just the way his style at that point, still, it's still managing uh, to suppress his power, he probably upgrades it as time goes on, <clears throat> but, so I would, if that's the case, I would say that Piccolo's suppressed power, for going by, like, the quarter marker here, is about, let's see, that's about 19, 
it's about 5,900. So when Nappa comes in, uh, you know, Piccolo just, <clears throat> boom, and just cracks him in the guts. <clears throat> yeah, and then, you know, they're fine. Uh, fine, I'll take him. And he's not even taking off his way of training gloves. He starts wailing on Nappa. And he's like, uh, uh, how in the... Uh, I see. Come on, Nappa. You're really going to let him take... You are, nah, all right, that's it. And he powers up. Uh, and again, my I theorize his power is right around 700, 7,500, 7, based on how I explained in the previous chapter, in previous versions of this what-if where, not versions of this what-if, but previous what-ifs where this happens. Piccolo senses the power increase, takes off his way of train clothes, goes to his max power, which is even the Nappa, and they're going back and forth again, except Piccolo is the better fighter. He's the better strategist, he's the better fighter, so using his long arms, keeps the Nappa bound for a little bit, charges him a sink, uh, Ma Sen Kapo, and, uh, and just suddenly just reels Nappa right towards him, shoom, uh, unfurls his arm, and just boom, blasts the hole straight to Nappa. It's like, I, my, my, gee, ah, you really were, <sighs> to think you could lose to someone so pitiful. Yo, you call yourself a Saiyan, Nappa. Uh, you make me sad. And then just, boom. Uh, I must admit, though, you are quite impressed, and my, my voice is going between the original dub Vegeta and, you know, standard dub Vegeta. <laughs> Uh, so, I must admit, though, Kakarot, you are, yeah, well, actually, my, my original, uh, dub Vegeta is pretty good. I must admit, you are, I must admit, though, you, uh, that was quite impressive that you'd be able to take out Nappa like that. <laughs> uh, I would assume, though, I'm gonna go back to my standard one. I would assume, though, Kakarot, that you're the one who's the strongest of the group. That's guilty as charged, but quite frankly, I don't think I would, you even, I don't think you'd really, uh, they'd really need my help taking you on. Oh, is that right? You really think these humans are stronger than me? I am I am the mere warrior. I am a Saiyan elite. A, I am the prince of all Saiyans, a super elite. And you know, he, power, he decides to just power up and show, let me show you what my power truly is like. And he powers up. And everyone's just like, hmm. It's like, well, that's pretty impressive. Or, it, it, yeah, not bad, actually. It's like, ah, oh, totally. <laughs> it's like, nah, you see. So, which one of us gets him? And, because, you know, they're all far stronger than him. It's like, uh, what are you, what? One second. Rock, paper, scissor. Rock, paper, scissor. Oh, man, come on, guys. Why are you going to Because you're, you know you will because you know he's not a challenge for you. It's like, well, I mean, it's like, come on, come on, you know you're right. Uh, and all of a sudden, Piccolo can sense just how strong they are. But how do they get so strong? Uh, they're easily double, he's a double, no, triple my power. How the, how the hell did they... It's like, you're, well, oh, well, we offered you to train with us, but the, um, we use the hyperbolic time chamber. It's like, you, you what? The, the hyperbolic time chamber? And so, you know, Pickle is like, uh, oh, of course, that blasted room. Because he knows a little bit about Kami's place. Not a lot, but a little bit. So, it's like, oh, of course. That makes, that makes complete sense. And so, you know, finally, it's like, all right! To add the biggest insult to injury of all, Yamcha's the one that gets to take on and clearly beat the crap out of Vegeta and say, Oh, you're going to take me on. Fine. Let's see what you got. And then, you know, he gets into his fight, he says, and they begin the fight, and he's quickly overrun, but just, <coughs> and just, uh, we'll fight fast! Just boom, 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 beats the living crap out of Vegeta. Just, Ow! Dang! Just blast energy blast. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> and so far, finally, it gets to the point where it's like, I've had enough of this! I've killed the wall! Got it, gone! Fire! Kamehame! <sighs> and we know Yamcha. Now, Yam, I believe the Dice Entry does put Vegeta's power level around 30,000 when he's using the Gallic Gun at its full power. But Yamcha's base power is still 34,000. That's not even adding a Kamehameha on there. So it's clear. Yamcha could even, it can still beat, Yamcha could even repel the blast with his full power, he would struggle, but he'd still be able to repel it. He ultimately does blast uh, Vegeta back, uh, back and overpower his attack, and so I was like, ugh, and Yamcha's like, oh man, ugh, guy, uh, it wasn't that tough to begin with, but when he went all out, oh, that, that was not easy, not easy going, and so Goku, uh, Vegeta finds the moon, now, or Vegeta finds that there's no moon, comes back down. I see. So, you thought you could get, <laughs> beat me by destroying the moon? Preemptively. I, you're smaller than you look, Kakarot. Oh, uh, wait, what? The destroy the moon? Well, fortunately, we've learned a trick behind this. It's like, 
Then the rad's looking, I was like, now we'll see if you can really, ha see how, what that form can really do, Kakarot. Because it remembers the Ikari form, and he remembers that's basically Izaru in base. So, you know, Vegeta throws out the artificial moon, and everyone's now just going, oh, except for Goku, who's remembering what this is. And remembering that he, in you know, sensing the power input output and realizing that I don't even need Akari to beat this guy. 2,600 power level, 200, yeah, 260 power level, 260,000 of a power level versus 18, 180,000 power level. Goku still easily outmatches Uzaru uh, Vegeta. Uh, it's like, you guys want me to tag it? Uh, and, you know, Vegeta's starting to run amok. N none of them can really get a good beat on him. He's just too powerful. Finally, he's just like, time to die! And just blasts with his, that giant mouth laser. Goku just comes in and... Uh, uh, so you want to finally play Kakarot? Very well. Let's see if you end Just like with Goku and uh, Piccolo and Nappa, Goku just... And because Goku's such a small tiger, it's all concentrated. He just coughs up, throws up. And Goku just just throws him around by his tail. Doesn't rip it off, mind you, but it does throw him around. That's enough. Let's end. Let's finish this Vegeta right now. You, you, and he just starts coming in at Goku. Goku's just nope, nope, nope. Okay, this is a that's embarrassing. And he's like nope, nope. And then finally just. Blast off Vegeta's tail. How, how could you? This is this the powder I didn't spoke of. What? No, this is just my base. You know, are you talking? Oh, you're talking about this. Are you talking about when I transformed against him? You, what are you talking about? No, this is the form. This is probably what Rad's but And he shows off the Akari Joe, which put him at 2.6 million. And Vegeta's just like, oh. Uh, uh. <laughs> Last chance, Vegeta. Leave now. Uh, uh. Vegeta's not got. Vegeta's not stupid. He knows he can't take this guy on at this point. He can't sense power levels, but he. <laughs> he's like, do you feel that, Krillin? I taste that. Uh, so yeah, he's not stupid. He knows he he can even tell that this guy he cannot beat. He just can't be Goku. He also tells him this guy actually might be able to take on Frieza. He's got to rethink that. Raz is also thinking that too. It's clear that, how much stronger Goku had really gotten. And it's like, oh, he really might be able to do it. Red, uh, Vegeta calls his shit. like, Ugh. he's not as in bad a shape, by the way. He's still going to get a Zenkai and probably be at his standard power level for Namek. But he is, he is in as bad shape. So he is able to kind of just, uh, uh, you win, you win this time. This isn't over, Kakarot. Believe that! Uh, and he, he heads off, and Goku just, Ugh. Well, that's done with. That's done and over with. Everyone all right? Oh, man, Goku, that was amazing! Um, <laughs> so, seriously. The power of yours is, in, is intense. And, yeah, it kind of is. So, Goku is, um... Uh, Goku is, you know, the victor. But there right now, he's just like, eh. Shame. Kind of wouldn't want to see my brother again. Uh, but oh well. And so Vegeta is heading off. So Vegeta goes off to get healed. As he's healing, you know, when he gets out of the pod, he sees Raditz there. It's like, you got, you have five, you have literally ten seconds to get out of my face before I kill you, Raditz. It's like, uh, and, you know, he's counting down. And finally, he's about to get to the two and one. It's like, two. It's like, really? And then, the, what, and then what will you do? Go fight Kakarot again? <clears throat> Uh, I told, I told you about what his, uh, told you about him and what he achieved, but you decided not to listen. Uh, how was I supposed? To, well, how was I supposed to know? You, uh, you, he's low class trash, just like you. And yet, didn't you lose to that low class trash? You. Now keep in mind, Raditz doesn't hasn't really gotten much stronger. I will argue maybe he's gotten a minor Zenkai from like the whole scenario. At best, he's maybe 2,000. But the difference between him and Vegeta is he's kept his tail. So he can still go into as Ozaro if he needs to. Um, he can't control himself. And at this point, he still wouldn't even be able to beat Frieza or uh, Vegeta. But he can still go into his 8 for it if he needs to. Say, so, well, what's your suggestion? I, my, the scout, my scout had broke before I could even, uh, before I could even comprehend his power. And then he, and that was before he transformed. 
You know what I'm thinking, Vegeta. You really think he could do it. You really think that. Um, is that right? <sighs> well, I won't lie and say it's... I won't lie and say that the possibility didn't cross my mind. The, the, the idea would be... And he's, he's still got... That bastard's still got to get strong, isn't he? It's what, apparently what he does on that planet. No, doing nothing but trading and living his life. Oh, what a miserable existence, it sounds like. And yet it's done wonders for him. Uh, and you know, for Jesus, uh, still, uh, still, we'd have to convince him. Well, we've got other problems. What do you mean? Apparently, freezes come into come into the knowledge of something called Dragon Balls. Wish Dragon Dragon Balls. What are Dragon Balls? The the wow, oh, they go by you know, the Wish Orbs. Uh, no, he's he's discovered some because I believe Frieza would has always been looking, uh, you know thinking about him and looking for them. He found out about him, honestly, I think, through, like, the mishap with the Frieza and stuff like that. Or going to Earth about him. Uh, but, no, he, he was probably looking for them, looking for Ibertai, and he's on... He's heading to... He's already going to Namek as we speak. Ah, blast it all. Uh, well, what... So what do you propose, then? Uh, uh, we... Uh, we uh, go to Namek. Make sure he doesn't get the, the balls. And that if we can, get, make our wishes of them. Are there, if not, if we cannot, at least make sure that go. At least make sure that Kakarot, that we prepare Kakarot, as he's as I'm, at the moment he's the only one who could stand a chance of taking him down. Uh, I hate you, Rathids, but at the moment, uh, the moment you all I have on my side. Well, let's get going then. Oh, we're off to Namek, and and he gives Raditz the scouter because Raditz, I don't think he can sense parallels this at this point, but Vegeta can. So where are we gleaning now towards the Because we're only 16 minutes in. Let's keep going with this. Well, they do go to Namek. And they do... And a lot of this goes the same, except, you know, Goku and the others aren't there. So what happens when you have Vegeta and Raditz there instead? Well, they go to the villages, they steal one of the Dragon Balls, and they end up killing the village. Uh, unfortunately, everyone gets wiped out, pretty much. Guru and everyone. Well, not Guru. He ends up dying, you know, on his own. But the thing is, is that they realize they can't do anything with these Dragon Balls because they don't know how to speak Namekian. When Radz, when Vegeta and Radz realize this, they're like, <laughs> uh, and uh, they obviously um, beat the uh, Zarbog comes and beats the crap out of both Radz and Vegeta. They take them back though, heal them because they want want the information. Uh, Vegeta gets his boost at thirty thousand. I imagine Radz would actually get a. A nice hefty boost, probably doubling his power, being at base wise around uh, Nappa's power level. <clears throat> and they get out of there. When they realize that they need to speak Namekian to be able to uh, um, use these Dragon Balls, they're like, we don't need these Dragon Balls, are useless. Let's get out of here. Uh, it's, uh, and uh, let's get out of here and let's just, you know, see if we can convince Kakarot. So, <laughs> uh, that fool. Uh, and, well, and here's the thing, neither Rads nor Vegeta know that Earth has Dragon Balls. However, because, you know, rumor mills go around, Vegeta, Frieza would eventually hear the skull, but that there might be Dragon Balls on Earth. This might take a bit longer, however, so, you know, they fly off, they're heading, they're heading off to, you know, to Earth. Meanwhile, things on Earth have been honestly passing pretty peacefully. I mean, Goku still keeps his training up. Um, he's probably trying to improve as best he can. Everyone else is honestly doing that as well. In terms of power, uh, honestly, not a lot of time has passed, but a couple months. Uh, Goku's probably been, and Goku's probably actually been really putting his, you know, training, you know, training to the test and trying to get his power a little higher. So he's probably about 300 grand. You might think that's a big junk, 40,000 to another 40,000, but I imagine Goku's been... Wanting to get his power up a little bit. And for easy math, that's where we'll put him at. Um, you know, Piccolo's been actually putting a lot of effort in his training. Probably at least tripling his power. Because we know he can kind of do that. Uh, you know, the other the gang. So his power is actually now around the mid-20s. Uh, not mid-20s, but low-20s. <clears throat> About 22.5, to be precise. Krillin's a little stronger. Chaozu, Tian. Everyone's a little stronger. And, they, you know, they, everything life's been going fine. But then they sensed... Power and it's their powers are so like it's uh power level feels around the same as like Napa, but one's a lot more impressive around like the 30,000. Still, everyone should are like, okay, we should be able to take this guy. Wait, this can't it can't be. It's like, uh, uh, what, what, ex wait, uh, Vegeta, N N Raditz, what are you guys doing here? It's like, wait, we're not here to fight, Kakarot. Yes, amazingly, uh, 
Speak for yourself, Rot Rotten. Uh, I thought I'd be able to keep my cool, but seeing you against some with blinding rage, Kakarot. Think, uh, well, I mean, if you want another bout, I'm all, I'm more than willing to go. Say, no, 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 no. That that's okay. We we are not here to fight. We're actually here to. <laughs> and Rad's trying to say we like to form an alliance, uh, but you know she's like, Ugh, we'd like to. Prop uh, make a proposition. Uh, proposition? The, uh, and they explain Frieza, that he's the one who destroyed planet of Vegeta, their home planet, that he is, that, that how powerful it is, that he is searching, that he was searching for the wish orbs and, and Dragon Balls, uh, but he didn't find any, and so we're, we're giving you the heads up so you can get stronger to take him on, and you might be able to do it. Uh, it's like, wait, how does he know about the Dragon Balls? It's like, wait, how do, how do you know about the Dragon Balls? Wait, wait, you got, you guys didn't know we? Wait, oh God damn it, Goku! Was like, oh, wait, you have Dragon Ball, wait, you have Dragon Balls on this planet. Frieza will learn about this eventually. Uh, it's like, uh, it's, uh, he's definitely on his way, gonna be on his way here at some point. Right now, it doesn't seem like he knows about this place, at least not in any capacity that he cares about it. This might be all we, this might be the chance we need. Uh, and so, now they're arguing, it's like, well, what do we do? I mean, Freeze is not on his way here. It's like, and Goku just kind of thinks, I was like, what do you think, Kami? Mm, hold on. And he, Kami actually goes and talks to King Kai, like, because he can mentally do that. And you know, talk about, uh, you know, King Kai, it's me, Kami. Oh, hello, Kami. It's been some time, my friend. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing well enough, though, uh, though we're having a little issue. It's like, tell me, what do you know of a being called Frieza? Frieza? What do you need to know about him for? He is a ruthless space tyrant, a destroyer of worlds, a betrayer and, and, and destroyer of worlds. He's a madman. Why do you need to know? <sighs> what are the likelihoods that he might be on his way to this planet? On to Earth? Mm. I don't think he has really a reason to go there right now, but... Uh, trust, believe me, he if he finds out about the Dragon Balls, he would. I was like, uh, he, Namek, it's true. Namek, did, the planet Namek suffered greatly uh, recently. If he's uh, if he's looking for the Dragon Balls, he must most likely be a, a tor coming towards your planet at some point. At the moment, it doesn't seem like he's coming towards you. <clears throat> he has any uh, knowledge of you. But if, it, if what you say is true, he will learn about the Dragon Balls eventually. I'll keep you in informed about it, my friend. And so, you know, he's, uh, Kami relays the information to Goku. He's like, all right. You see, Kami seems to believe. Kami seems to believe you, so we'll we'll trust you for now. It's like uh, Kami. What's a Kami? No, never. Don't worry about that. And so, yeah. But if you're if uh, this guy's coming, we're gonna have to give some training. <laughs> you know, it talks to Chi Chi about it. Chi Chi, hold on. You've already been training enough. Spend some time with your family and work. Damn it. Um. But anyway, they they get back to training now. Uh, I can't remember. Did I make? Did I allow Goku to use the hyperbolic time chamber in the last one? Because he only had one go left. I want to say he did, but I'm actually going to basically end this here because everyone's going to start training again. Um, and uh, I'll double check that video just to be sure if Goku actually did, because I know I had him using the pendulum room like nonstop for a while. Uh, I'm pretty sure, given the fact I got him to 260, that he did use the pendulum room. So, that, yeah, I think that he did, or that he did use that. I'm going to say he did. Goku doesn't have access to the Dark Time Chamber now. All the other guys still have one more go around, and Piccolo still has two. So, we'll see what happens there. Uh, but until then, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, if you want to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know the review of it at some point. Hit that bell if you want to be notified. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you folks next time. I got the Zompocto video. I got Ghostbusters Afterlife. And I got a premium of my videos for tomorrow. So thanks for watching. See you later.